welcome back to Foster the Meeple, a channel all about board games and a board gaming table and chairs and equipment. Exactly. We are here today with a little bit of a different video. Today's video is going to be the Foster the Meeple studio tour. It's going to be um, a quick one. Professional studio, high quality equipment. I can't wait for all of you to see the everything. sound uh, stuff Jamie put on the walls. Yep, everybody's pretty excited about that. Like this is our YouTube studio. A few people have asked. I know we have a lot of creators in our Discord who are like, what do you have? What do you have? So let's just do a whole video. And also a really great opportunity for us to finally show you our Raskellers table. So. Today, we are going to give you a little bit of a tour of the studio, tell you the equipment we have, show off our Raskeller's table, and we also want to highlight the new chairs that we have, okay? So you may have noticed in some of our recent videos that we are sitting on new chairs. We ditched the old chairs because they were trash garbage, mm -hmm. and now we got ourselves some nice chairs, okay? So, a couple of things. Number one, Raskeller's did provide us with this table. Okay, they provided us with the table and with the shelves and the neon sign behind you. Uh, this video is not paid, but you may think that our reviews come with some kind of a bias because this is a very expensive table that was sent. They are our official channel sponsor. Yes. So take that for what take it is. Take that for what you will. So the chairs were sent to us from FlexiSpot and they are the C7s. We are going to give you a little overview as well with those with a side-by-side -side comparison. To our old chair so you can laugh along with us mm -hmm. all right so without further ado let's jump in so jeffrey where should we start i don't know man me either hold please we're all going on a little tour together that's jeff let's maybe this start is our off. backdrop yeah let's start this is off. the table that i hate okay here's the thing we're gonna move stuff out of the way you guys know how we do nothing is planned uh, rarely are things ever done in a way that makes sense. Look at the carpet. I know. Uh, listen, I know. Don't I know it. This is our background. You've seen it in every single video. Jeff, tell the people what you hate about our background. I hate this table. Because? Because there's no friggin' room and I, I smash it all the time. It's not super sturdy. Yeah. So things fall off it all the time. I don't think it adds anything. Jamie's like, it has to be there. It does. And I hate it. I love it. I hate it. It's I like the thing I hate the most about this studio is this freaking table that I'm always smashing into. I think we got this table from Wayfair for anybody that's curious. I'm going to put links in the description of like everything that we talk about if I can find it in case you're interested. But yes. Uh, you'll be able to tell this is a very small room. This used to be a garage that the previous owner converted into a retail space, which then we converted into a studio. But how big do you think this is? I got, I have no clue. We don't I'm even not know. even throwing out a guess. 10 by something, I guess. No, Anyways, it's bigger than that. Our chairs take up this whole space. So I would say we, it's 15 by 20-ish. Sure. So our chairs take up this whole space. So when we sit and if we roll back a little bit, the rickety old shelf, yep. everything falls. Yep. And then Jeff gets really angry. Yep, he does. That is factually correct. So let's show you a little bit closer what's actually like on this shelf. Okay. So we do have games that we switch out. Can you see me? Yep. Okay. Uh, no. Scoot it to where you can. Can you see me and the shelf? Shelf is more important. Yeah. So we do have games. A lot of people ask, how do you pick the games? We j I just grab random games usually. I also do content for Van Ryder games because I work for them. So I typically always have some of their games up because I got to switch it out all the time. Then we have all of our board gaming stuffed animals. If you've noticed, Jamie likes stuff so much that it, it's like clutter. It accumulates. I'm not a minimalist. I am a maximalist. That is factually, factually correct. Factually correct. Um, 
I don't know, I just like to have like colorful backgrounded minions. Now the Raskellers neon sign, like I said, was provided by Raskellers. We don't have it up in all of our videos, but we do like to feature them every now and then to give an extra special shout out. They did also do the shelves. Yes, they did the shelves. Behind. Um, if it wasn't full of stuff, I would kind of show you how they work, but essentially it's a railing system, which we'll show you with the table as well. But things literally just kind of like slide right in. So all of the shelves are- Here. Oh yeah. So the railing system, which you can see with this cup holder. Did you see that? Beauty. Okay. So Easy peasy. It just literally slides in and out effortlessly. They hold a lot of weight. Now, they made these shelves custom for us. So I don't think that this is something that's readily available on their website or anything, but just in case they ever do, we freaking love these shelves. They are very heavy, yep. very heavy. So we had to lift them and put them up and all that stuff. But I like how they're like interchangeable. We can kind of do whatever we really want with them. Uh, and we have some larger size shelves. And then we have, uh, actually Jeff, right behind you, can you hand me that? So when this sign's not up, this is the shelf that's up. So we have skinny shelves and then we have some thicker shelves. We have long shelves, we have short shelves. Shelves, 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 all the shelves. But that's the background. Can people see me? Yep. Okay, so let's talk about what we see when we're filming. So we film uh, with two, well, technically we have three cameras, so. This was our kind of starter camera for, the, actually, no, that's a lie. We had a Canon G7. This is a Canon EOS M50 Mark II, which is a perfect camera for starting out on YouTube. Um, it's a little bit more expensive. If you want a vlog camera, get the Canon G7, but we have this as a third camera. Right now, our main filming camera is actually up there, which we'll get to later but we just bought it. This is the one that we typically have been using and this is the Canon R10. R6. The R10 is the new one. It says R10 on the front of that camera. Oh shoot, this one's the R10. You're right, Jeff, the R6 is the better one. So the R10 is what we've been filming with for the past year. So all of our front facing or overhead, this is the camera that we would use. I personally really love this camera. It's a little bit more expensive, but it has great autofocus and it has no filming limit, which you love to see. So we typically tend, when we're filming front on only, we use our best camera, but if we're filming a playthrough, the best camera goes to the overhead. Jeff, can you tilt that sucker up? Wow. Jeff, you're doing so good. Can Thank you see you. up? Okay, this camera here, is our new camera, which is our best camera. This is the Canon uh, EOS R6. So we just got this, we're still kind of fiddling. I'm not super happy with how the background focuses in and out, but it's very, very crisp. Jeff, you think this one's crisper. I do like a good crispy. Jeff loves a crispy camera. camera. So that is what we, were, we are using for our overhead or for front facing when we're not doing a playthrough. Back to me, Jeffrey. Jeff is doing the best. Uh, if you're curious, we're filming this on an iPhone. <laughs> so, you know, do whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, I do have a random tripod that I got on Amazon. I, I don't know, I'll link it below, it's fine. I got it because it has this, because the problem with filming across a board game table is that board game tables are very wide. And so the closer I could get the camera to us, the better. It still doesn't really do much of anything. These lights, I, we have three, one points up and down at Jeff, one points up and down at me, and then this one is kind of the key light. They are called Mount Dog, and I got them from a random auction. Are right. they good? Not really, but they're fine. Is this recording? No. Good one. Yes, it is. Okay, so because we film with two people, we have a light on each person plus the key light. If you're filming by yourself, you don't need all of that. And these lights are trash and we've been using them since the very beginning. They're fine, but they do take up a lot of space, which annoys Jeff. They're all ripped too. That's true. It's fine. We need to get better lighting, but it's just not, well. It Someday. Is. Someday. 
Uh, and then we also have a monitor right here. That's what so I always look at. This is what you see Jeff looking at when we film. Because Jeff likes to look at himself. That is very, very actually, let's see. Um, so we do have two monitors. The other one is behind me, which we use when we're filming a playthrough. So let me just see if this will work. So I can show you what Jeff's doing. Oh Jeff's God. yawning. Change the record. Is it working? Yep. Okay. Look at me. So this is and what you. we see when we film. <laughs> this is what we see when we film, and this is what Jeff is always looking at. He's looking at himself on this monitor. Um, but we do this so that we know whether or not we're in focus and whether or not we're centered, which nine times out of ten we're still not centered. Uh, but that is because why, Jeffrey? The floors in this room. The floors in this room. And before everyone's like, you should get that checked out. It's fine. It's fine. It used to be a garage. It is what it is. So this is what we see. People when are looking at my crotch this. in that camera right now. They are. Jeff, yeah. what Scandalous. kind of a scandal are we running here? You Boop. had it down there. Whoop. Okay. Anyways, that's fine. So really, that's everything. This side of the table is a disaster zone because it's all of the cables. The Raskeller's table is plugged in over here. All of the equipment is plugged in here, and so it's just a mess of cables. It sucks. To, like, here's the wall. Okay? It sucks because we're tr constant, or I'm constantly The space tripping. is too small. Space is limited, but we do make do. We, we do, do with what we have. We do with what we, we, we do. And this is a stabilizer. The stabilizer Jamie never uses. I just used it. I also have one for the cameras, but I don't really understand how it works, so it's fine. Let's go. We also do have a mini fridge, which you love to see. Just for our drinks. That's for our drinks. We put our drinks in there. Um, this is the fun soundproofing that Jeff was. It's ridiculous. So let me just like, show you. I don't know why she did this. <laughs> okay, because you need it doesn't do anything. sound dampening. It doesn't do anything. You didn't put enough up. It's I just a... <laughs> I, we have more, but I ran out of Velcro and that one fell down. Anyways, I put this up and the stupid rug, which is all crinkled to try and soundproof a little bit. So it is what it is. Uh, this is a promise that Doolin made us that we would play Pathfinders. That never happened. And it's also not. Jeff, brutal. go up there and shame Doolin. This is the letter Doolin sent us uh, from Venture Captain Brackett to uh, initiate us into the beginning of our Pathfinder campaign. A uh, little backstory, I've always wanted to play D&D &D Pathfinder. Uh, Doolin created a whole story and world and all of these things. We played once <laughs> and then never again. Never uh, again. So I framed this as the eternal anger yeah. uh, that I have for uh, Doolin Quite over rude, at eh? Table Knots. And Jeff's also standing in a our, bathroom. Our pooper. Just so everybody knows, it has been rated. So four and a half out of five people would poop here again. There's a shower too, if you want a shower. Yeah, there's a shower. Uh, we don't know. This should have been a guest room, honestly, but it wasn't. We need the studio. I also have soundproofing up top. Ugh. Uh, typically, we don't have these lights on when we film but we do right now. And there's bugs in it. There are bugs. So yeah, that's another good point. Like, as you can see, we are basically outside. Okay, so more soundproofing. Don't show them the outside, it's so ugly out. Yeah, it's, well, it's freaking winter still. Just kidding, it's spring. Um, okay, we're doing a walk around so you can see from this side, pachow, there's Jeff. Um, here is where, <laughs> hold on. I keep all of our streaming stuff when we're yeah, not using but what, it. What? What? Oh. Spoiler alert! That's for the Rascaler section. Um, up here, we keep all of our dice trays. That's my octopus that Ilya won for me uh, at Dice Tower West. Coasters. Uh, these are just like card holders. Card holders. Extra monitor. Extra mic. Extra camera. Buzz Lightyear. Um, more soundproofing. And this table was meant to be Jeff's paint station. 
How many paint stations does Jeff have in this house? How many have I had or currently? Have you had? <laughs> well, that's one. At least four or five. In the workshop, there's another one. He has. Oh, I forgot about that one. Yeah. Then. Oh yeah. Two within his six. office. Then there was one in the living room den. Oh, I didn't know this video turned into a dunk on Jeff contest. Well, if it is, I'd get a slam dunk. Boom, roasted. Um, but typically over here now we do just put like a movie or something on and there is a little baby chair in there for when we have people over because guess what Jeff? This is also our game room when friends come over. When that happens we take down all the equipment. Um, I think, oh if, in case people are wondering, these are the microphones that we now use. They're called DJI something something. I'll link them below. All of our stream stuff like I said in there. Steam Deck. Stream. stream deck we do have steam decks as well cords plugs microphone covers etc that's all the equipment that we use though it's not really anything crazy let's get on to this we're going to do table and chairs okay so i'm actually going to come over back to you jeff get right, jeff everybody. we're talking about the rathskeller's table is the rathskeller's altar table it's like the top of the line table that they produce. It is beautiful. And I'm gonna show you quickly that this was custom made, but it also flips. So you got purple on the other side. And these lights change. There is a uh, built-in speaker system. Uh, so you can play music while you're playing. You can play whatever you want. And it actually engages with the lights as well, which is really cool. But one of the best things about this is the railing system that Jamie was just mentioning. So I'm going to take off these. Uh, it comes with a little fancy brush if you're like, oh, let's do a little, a little brushy brush. Why not, eh? You know? I'm going to take some of these off. comes with a bunch of different things. This is an awesome cup holder. I'm going to leave it because you need cups. This was There's the thing Jamie holder. was mentioning. This is actually for the back wall, but I want to show you how the system works. You just snap her in, done like dinner. It's easy to use, but yeah, normally this would be on the wall behind us. Correct. All right, so let's go over some of the stuff we got here. One of the coolest things is this, which is actually a D&D &D station. So you can snap it in. Whoever's running your D&D &D session can have their little book up. They could put an iPad here if you wanted to. A whole bunch of stuff, you know? A whole bunch of stuff. This actually snaps on top. Yep. So you actually do one of these bad boys. Snap her in. You know? You can do it the other way if you want. Exactly. And then you're like, oh, here's some cards. Here's some components. Here's a nice little thing for me to put my tired elbows on. Your old tired elbows. I love this one. It's really cool. Yeah, bit different. Doesn't hook up into the rail system, but just snaps on the outside. Exactly. So there's a dual cup holder. So the actual cup holders aren't in it, but. Exactly. So you could have this between two people. That's the point of it, right? Mm -hmm. And or, anything can go anywhere. Or, you know, everyone can have their own if you want. Or even there's another one behind you there, Jeffy. Or you could do like four. If for a baby drink. There is baby drink. Look at that. Get out. It's all dirty in there, though. We won't look inside. Cool beans. Cool beans. What else we got? We have lots. This is another uh, snap-on. Uh, I'll do it this way. Okay. So, similar deal, but this one just holds cards. Uh, it doesn't have the cool felt and the little components, but... It does have a little place for a pencil. I used this one when I did... It's good um, for rolling rights. Yes, when I did... Uh, a G and A playthrough. Yeah, we have another component tray. This is a big boy. Yeah, and we have enough so that four, I think, four people can yep. have this. Yep. Obviously, and we have, it's like all customizable. Like yeah. you pick and choose. The yeah, I mean, these can go anywhere around the table. This railing system is all the way around, so you can put these wherever you want, wherever Correct. people are sitting. So we have a bunch of different size ones of these. This is the wider version one. Uh, we have a bit of a thinner one. Skinny boy. A skinny boy. And they all do have like those. And then we have holes. another uh, variant of the snap on top. You know, so cards, maybe a pencil, 
little component tray here. I think the, these ones would be really good for uh, campaign games like Gloomhaven, mm -hmm. uh, where you have some cards, but maybe you have a little bit of component resource management stuff you need to do. Yep. We have a beautiful, beautiful dice tray that matches our table. There is another thing that each side of the table has the drawer. Not going to lie, I completely forgot about this. And that's the wine cup holder. So yeah, there's also wine cup holders for you winos out there. We aren't, but hey. Some people are. Some people are. So each uh, side. Not going to lie, I. You forgot. I completely forgot that these drawers existed. So let's just see. There's one on this side too. That one's huge. So both of the long sides have this one, and then the short sides have the one that Jeff just showed you, and they all have soft clothes. So you don't jam your fingies. Look at that. No finky jams. Uh, and then I do also want to mention that we do have charging stations. There are, I think, four. Is there any on this side, Jeff, here? Nope. Okay, so there are four, and they do have USB-C and USB. And there's also a uh, wireless charger right here. That is correct. And there's one on the other side of the table as well. Yep, so you just lay your phone there and, you know. And as mentioned, there's installed speakers yes. on the inside um, and we'll show you that now. Um, the remote Jeffrey f is in there. So maybe just do a color swap, sure. why don't you? Blue, green, purple, pink, a different purple, yellowish green, yellow, <laughs> white. It is white. Hmm. I think there's an orange. I did orange. Oh. That's orange. Is there a red? Red! And uh, there's different modes for the light. So like they'll go to where the sound is or you can make it so that like the louder people get, the lights kind of move and dance and stuff. Like this? Woo! You know, if you're having a party. Or, 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 or. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> There's another one, but I can't get it to do it. Games. 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 Are fun. <laughs> Rascalers. One last thing, very important thing with the table, is it does obviously come with a lid. So we're going to show you how the tabletop works. And there are a variety of different forms of tabletop, but we went for the, like, multi-slab. Mm -hmm. You can get it in like less pieces and stuff. But <laughs> there are two edge pieces. So Jeff, if you want to get that stuff, get that garbage out of here. So they just slide right in. And one side has almost like a groove. A groove. Like the it's Emperor's not almost like groove. a groove. It is a groove. Can you move that box? Okay, so you can literally put it on, slide it in. Okay, we'll do one more. We never ever have the lid on because why would we? We'll always be using the table, you know what I mean? Okay, now another cool thing that I want to show you is that if you want to separate and have two games going, well, guess what? You can do that with, boom, this. Oh, thank God the heater's off, it's so hot in here. So this is what it will end up looking like. And you can put this on the end of any of these. But you can have like a game set up underneath here that you wanna play another day and protect from your cats. And then you can continue to play here, or whatever you like to do, have two games going on. You don't need to have anything 
down to use this as a separation station. Overall, how are we feeling about our Rathskeller's altar table? The pros, the cons, the goods, the bads. Uh, there's a million pros. Yes. Uh, the biggest con is price. The biggest con is price. We this... had the luxury of having this sent to us. Exactly. It is a pricey endeavor, but if it is in your budget and is something, I mean, they have a whole range yes. of tables to fit uh, people's budgets. Uh, it is a luxury hobby. It is a luxury accessory for a luxury hobby, in my opinion. Yes. But um, so worth it if you game a lot yeah. and uh, have a dedicated space. Exactly. So a few things that I want to say. This is the highest end of all of their tables. So this is like the top that you can get. There are tables that are less expensive than this one. We will link the whole website in the description below so you can have a browse. Tables are all customizable, which is pretty cool. You can choose, pick and choose all of the things, the color of your, it's, is it felt? Yep. The color of your felt, the color of your table, like what kind of accessories you want to go with it, all of the, these things. And that is going to adjust the price based on what you get. All handcrafted All too. handcrafted. This is solid wood. It is heavy. You do need to put this together on your own, obviously, when you get it. I will say though, it basically comes in two pieces. So button top. All you need to do is put the bottom on the top. Yeah. But you need help, in my opinion. We had three people. Uh, moving it in and out and having it flipped and stuff because it is heavy. But putting yeah. it together was relatively straightforward. Yeah, totally. Um, you. The other thing I was going to say is like, it is very heavy. So my, I guess my only con with this. Uh, you've probably seen in some of the B-roll and stuff, the carpet, the janky carpet. We can no longer fix this carpet. No, we could. Without having like help to do it. No, I'm pretty sure we could. But the carpet is janky and I can't do anything about it. Yeah, our friends love it when they come over. Like, because the music that plays from it, it's really cool. It is just like so high quality. I just, yeah. I just love it so much. And I don't know if they all do or if it's an accessory, but ours came with an acrylic top. Mm -hmm. uh, that you can put on top of the felt if you're playing things like D&D &D and you can like write on it and yep. like all of these things, which is also really cool. I don't know. I It's hard to not love this table. Yeah. I'm like beyond happy with it. Like the fact that I can plug things into it and they work, mm -hmm. that's just a plus in general. Yep. Yeah. So that is the altar, Raskellers, once again. Huge shout out to Raskellers for being the best channel sponsors in the whole wide world. Yes, indeedy. Oh, oh, I forgot to mention the uh, sleeves. We do have a rolly cart that the sleeves live in or the tabletop lives in. Uh, if you have all of the tabletop out, the rolly cart, ours turns into a little stool yeah. with the matching felt, which is really nice. So that is the table. Last but not least, let us move on the to chairs. the chairs. It's chair talk with Jeff. Um, okay, so these are our new chairs. These are from Flexi Spot. These, the old chair just went down for the count as I sat on it. These are the C7s. They have a bunch of different styles. Um, we ended up picking these ones because of the amazing ergonomical kind of back support. Like, how good does that feel? They are. <laughs> They nice. They nice. So these are technically like office chairs, but if you are someone that creates content, someone that plays games a lot, you'll know the importance of like a good chair when you're playing games. These saved our lives during the 24 hour gameathon. Like honestly, we could not have done it on these. So this, <laughs> I had to add this myself. This stupid chair sucks. Um, hold please. Can this even come off? Yeah. yeah. This was our old chair. This is a standard like office chair that you would typically find. It does go up and down and it moves around, but it does not have good back support. Um, and the cushion is fine, right? But with these chairs, as you can see, not only is it giving us the back support, which feels so good, 
Uh, it also gives you like head support. Everything is also adjustable. So you can obviously adjust the arms, which sometimes I accidentally do by accident. So the arms go up and down, the chair goes up and down. You can adjust the lumbar support. You can adjust the tilt. It has wheels. You can adjust the headpiece. You can adjust the headpiece. It does all of these and things. And you can also like tilt back with it. Like it's not rigid, like see, like I could be like, oh. Uh, just now we're just lounging. Now we're just lounging. Cause you know, like honestly, when you're playing board games. Sometimes you just want to lean back. Some people take forever with their turn. Okay, so we have had these chairs for like a couple of months now, mm. two or three months, and it has honestly, it's just been like such a, a nice relief to have like solid gaming chairs, like to the point where I wish that we had more for everybody that comes over. Yeah, but I would like to get a couple more. Yeah, because these have been kind of like ideal. I feel bad because I'm sitting in this chair like a king. And, and we put else. our peasants in these chairs. The, the plebs are in the other chairs. Yeah. I mean, what, what can you do? Mm -hmm. Another thing that I wanted to mention, because obviously gamers come in all shapes and sizes, these chairs have a lot of, like, yeah. they're relatively wide. They have wide base, boy. Exactly. And they work for, like, all different heights and sizes of people. And everything on these chairs, like I said, is adjustable. Yep. So not only for gaming, but also for like an office chair, if you need something, if you're sitting all day, if you do stuff that you need to sit. On their website, so on the FlexiSpot website, they also have like feet hammocks, which mm. color me intrigued. Color me intrigued. <laughs> I mean, it might not work so well while I'm playing a game, but like while mm -hmm. I'm working, I like to put my feet up yep. and all of that stuff. So if you are looking for a new chair for your gaming table or a new office chair, we are going to have a link in the description below to FlexiSpot.com. Uh, we also do have an exclusive discount code. You can use the code C730 to get $30 off your purchase. So no time like the present then to get yourself a new fancy chair. Flexibot C7, boy. Yeah, boy. And Jeff and I both have really crappy backs. I have a very bad back. <laughs> like both of us I right actually now are kind am, of struggling. I'm pretty sure I have a herniated disc right now. But how is that feeling? Fantastic. So good. So good you can even sleep. You could. I could actually. Like I could too. <laughs> these are super. I love that lumbar. Like... Normally, I only want lumbar in, like, the car. Yeah. I'm liking it. Also, if you're somebody that's fidgety and likes to... I am to... fidgety. Yeah. <laughs> There's like, it wiggles around. Yeah. Anyways, so needless to say, we have really been enjoying these chairs. All of the information is in the description below. We are not getting any... We, we're not, like, affiliated with this. Like, we don't get a commission or anything like that. Um, but we do want to say that we enjoy them, and there is a $30 off code if you are interested there's warranty there's all of these good stuff all of the information in the description below good good well my friends you have now fully seen i think everything in our studio yep it is small but it is mighty it has lots of cool gadgets and some stuff that's kind of janky like the soundproofing and the table not the Rathskeller's table. The table behind us. Yeah. The table that holds the things. I still like the table, personally. But do we want a new studio someday? Sure. Yes. We would like to build one outside. We're considering it. Yeah, we're considering Spoiler. it. Spoiler. We got to put down, like, a what do we do? A cement thing? And yeah, then you know, put a lot of Mario it. coins. It's going to take a lot of Mario coins. But yep. maybe someday we'll do it. Because it would be really nice to be able to, like, move around in here. And to have a dedicated space outside the house to do work. Exactly. And to maybe actually put this as a guest room. Yeah. Our garage is right there. It is. So there's that. Anyways, that is everything that we have for you in this video today. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. We'll happily answer anything that you have to ask. But that is everything that we have. Now, if you're interested in buying board games, like any of the many that you may have seen us walk by, 
Today in this video, you should first start by checking your friendly local gaming store. For us, that is... The Boardroom Game Cafe. Exactly. Do you like snacks? I do. Okay, where do people get snacks? Bunch pack. Exactly. Do you like tables? I do. Where do people get tables? Brass killers. Yeah. Chairs? Yep. Where? Flexi spot. Exactly. All of the information is in that description below. And if you like what you see... <laughs> Please subscribe. We hope to see you again soon. And now we say goodbye. Goodbye! There it is. You're going to be my Vanna White for the table. Actually, here's our poo -pourri. a... Our poo-pourri. Our poo Oh, what happened to your... Did it break? Oh, no. What's that in here? Yeah, for? it did break, actually. What? Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Because maybe we'll use this side here to... Ping, fries are done. I love this bad boy. This is a, whoop, sorry, wait, I did it wrong. Got some floofies on it. Okay, and you probably can't see that. We probably should have done it the other way.